Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways to add fake sky to your pictures. Now, there are dozens of ways to do this in Photoshop, and much of it will depend on your picture that you're starting out with. But for this particular picture that we're going to be working with today, you will see that the sky is completely blown out. So the two methods I'm going to use, one is going to be using a gradient, and the other method I'm going to use is actually importing another sky into the picture. So we're going to be going over both of those in this video. The first thing that we're going to do is do the gradient way, the gradient method, and you're going to hit Control shift n if you're on a PC, Command shift n if you're on a Mac. And we can go ahead and name this layer Sky. And I'm going to click OK, and you'll see we now have a transparent layer named Sky. The next thing we're going to do is select the gradient tool. If you can't find it, it's hidden under the paint bucket tool. These two share a home. So you want to go to the gradient tool. And then the gradient will work off of whatever is in this box right here in the foreground in the background. So let's go ahead and pick a blue color. And I tend to like to go in the cyans a little bit more than the purpley blues. And let's go ahead and pick a color. And we can kind of play around a little bit here. And that's going to be the foreground. And then let's go ahead and pick a color for the background. Or the alternative is we can actually use transparency, which we may try also. We can see which way we like better. So I picked a light blue here. So if we come in this box, this drop down box in the top toolbar now, you'll see there's a blue to light, light, light blue, and there's also a blue to transparent. Let's start with the blue to transparent and see how we do with that. When we use the gradient tool, we want to use this top left um, choice right here. You'll see there's a number of different types of gradients. We want the one where it's just a graduated gradient. And we're going to actually come in with the picture and we're going to drop down. And if we don't like what we do, we can do it again. So that's obviously a little too extreme. We could do it a little less. And if you don't like it, you can come back in your history palette and try again. And so on. Now when you do it to transparent, you'll see it slowly gets whiter towards wherever you end. Um, this one's actually pretty good, what we just did. So we can go ahead and utilize this. What we're going to do is we're going to drop the opacity quite a bit to make it look more natural. And then what we need to do is add a layer mask. We have now have our sky right here, which you'll see we're on the sky layer. And all we need to do is go to our background layer and we need to select the sky. And you'll see what we want to get rid of is what's the spill that went onto her face and such. So we're going to come back to the sky layer and we're going to go ahead and add a layer mask, which is the square with a circle inside. And when we do that, you will see it actually took it right off of her. You can see in the little mask on the right side of my screen, in the layer mask, you can actually see it's black. You can see the cowboy hat and you can see her face and it almost looks like a silhouette here. So you can see it really didn't affect her. The only part we might need to zoom in on is right here on her hair, although it looks like it's completely blown, so it may not actually be something we can fix. But what we would do is take black paint and come in here and just paint on it and check it out. Can't retain much of that because it was blown, which is why it discolored a little. But I think we're pretty good there. Now, with our control, we can change the opacity again up, which obviously has a little bit more of a fake look, or we can increase it... Um, down, we can go down with it to like 30-40% and make it much more natural where it looks like a very, very light blue sky. So that's looking great. Next, we can obviously do this with other colors. We could have used an orange to yellow, something like that to give it a golden hour. And the last thing you can do also, which is nice, is you can actually come in here and do a hue saturation layer. That way you can kind of see what you're getting a little bit more. And actually you can play with the hue and the saturation of the sky. So let's just go ahead and look at the sky. And in CS4, you can actually clip it right here in this. It's the third icon over. You can actually clip it to the sky. In CS3 and below, you would have to come over into your layers palette and select the clipping option. OK, which actually is going off my screen right now. So we're not going to worry about that. But I'm going to clip it to the sky. And now we can here, come in here in the hue saturation and actually play with the tone of the sky. So we could come in and make it more of a sunset look. Or we can go to the right a little bit and make it more blue or more of a purple hue. And so on. So that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do a snapshot of that. Now we're going to go back to the beginning again and I'm going to show you one more way to add a sky to the picture. The next way, what we're going to do is we're going to drag in this picture right here. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. This is just a random sky. It's probably not the perfect one for this picture, but it's the first one I could find in my hard drive easily. And what we're going to do is once you've got the picture here, you're going to use your move tool. 
and we're going to drag the sky right on top of her and cover her up. Now I'm going to move the sky back off the picture so you guys can really see this. And what we're going to do is you can see it's covering the top half of the picture and the bottom half we don't need sky at all. And we're going to do the same principle as before actually to get this in because the sky is blown. So let's go ahead and turn layer one off so we can really see this. Go back to the background and again we're going to use the magic wand. So now we've told it where we want it to go basically. And we're going to go back up to layer two and we're going to add our mask. And you will see it puts it in there pretty beautifully. Okay, so you can see we've got it in here now and all we would need to do is probably perfect the edges just a little bit and then change the opacity to taste. So I'm going to come in here and to make this look a lot more natural, I'm going to probably decrease the opacity quite a bit. So you can see there's 48%, there's 38%, which looks a lot more natural. Because again, based on the way the picture looks, you wouldn't expect a dark blue sky. Um, but if you want something a little bit more surreal, definitely you can increase it as well. So now we have shown you two ways to go ahead and play with skies. And obviously, like I said, you could put all different kinds of skies in there, ones with less or more clouds. And that's it. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick. We're going to make a snapshot of this. And we went from that. We did this sky right here. And our last sky was this one with the clouds. Thank you so much for looking and watching my videos. Jody at mcpactions.com.